So you got some influencers picked, you got a product, you got a niche, you got it all ready to go, you sent out some messages, but it's been two or three days and you still haven't heard back. Well, today we're going over some tips that I use to personally get a over 70% return rate on my first message, and hopefully it'll help you out too. Yo, what's up guys, Nash here coming at you with a brand new video and today, like I said, we're talking about how to actually get uh, influencers to respond to you because I know when I first started, it was kind of difficult. There was, I maybe got like a 10 to 20% response rate and it was always super slow. It took them like two, three, four days to respond back. Um, but once I implemented some of these tips I'm gonna be talking about in this video, I'm actually able to see like almost about 60 to 70% return rate within the first one to two days. And a lot of times it's within the first few hours. Uh, but yeah. So before we jump into the video, if you haven't already, why are you not already subscribed? We're giving away free value here every single day. Why would you not want to be subscribed to that? Go ahead and hit the subscribe button below. And also just wanted to let you know because some of you may not have known, but if you want to get started with Shopify for free, I actually have a link to the 14 day free trial uh, that Shopify offers in the description below. You can get started and get rolling and basically start up your entire website for free. Uh, you know, right from the beginning. So if you want to do that, again, just link in the description below and let's get started. All right, guys, so basically there's three things that I use to make sure that the influencers respond to me. And number one, and first importantly, uh, let me make sure I make this bold, is uh, your caption, right? Or not your caption, but your message. So the message that you send has to be somewhat captivating. It's gotta be, uh, you know, really to the point and you gotta be asking a question and they gotta believe that, uh, you know, you're professional and you know what you're doing and it's worth their time to actually respond. So that being said, what should you look for in a caption? Well, I actually put together one. This is pretty much the exact one that I use. Um, but the first thing you wanna do is, is put business related. The reason you do that and uh, with some sort of emoji, I like the fire emoji just cause it stands out. But basically you want to catch their attention because a lot of times these people get a lot of DMs um, and it's going to be in the, uh, you know, there's two sections of the DMs. There's ones that from people that you follow and the ones that from people that you don't follow. So you're going to end up in the ones with, you know, with people that they don't follow. So when they're looking through and they see one with an emoji that says business related, they're going to be more likely to, to actually open it, right? So once they open it, uh, I like to just say, you know, hey, love the page. Uh, and say, you know, build some sort of authority. So I say, uh, you know, I'm in the process of building out another influencer list, AKA I've done this before. Even if you haven't, um, you know, you can, you can do this to make it seem like you have done it before. So you're a professional, you know what you're doing, you're not trying to waste their time. Um, looking to build out another influencer list for a new store. Uh, just wanted to reach out and see what your rates are. Uh, you know, thanks in advance. So. Um, if you're looking for a specific rate, if you're looking for rates for like 24 hours, if you're looking for a story post, post rates, you know, go ahead and throw that in. This is just like a basic template that I like to use, uh, you know, for my captions. So that's the first thing is make sure that your captions are to the point, they're enticing and they, they grab the, the person's eye so they actually open it. Now, once they, uh, I don't know why this isn't bold. That's weird. Okay, so once they, um, once they actually open your message, then the you know sometimes they'll respond but there's also some other things that i like to do uh just to make sure that uh you know just to prove that you're legit and one of those things is uh your your actual instagram page right a lot of people they have their their store instagram page and it only has like you know 20 followers 50 followers whatever it is it might have like three photos so what you really need to make sure you do is, is make sure your, your page looks legitimate. You should have at least nine, preferably I like to start with 15 photos just to fill it out to make it look like you know, you're an actual business. And another thing I like to do, um, which you, know, you can or can't do, but you know, I personally have seen better results with, is I actually buy followers. Now I don't buy followers to you know, engage with my content or anything. The only reason I buy it is to make it seem like I'm a more legitimate operation. Because if somebody, if you're sending out a message to an influencer and you have like 5,000 followers, then you look like a more legitimate business than if you have like 20 followers. And it's super cheap. You can just go on eBay and it costs like, I don't know, it cost me like five to seven bucks to buy 5,000 followers. And it's, it's really cheap and uh, it'll increase your, your conversion rate. So that's one thing that I do. Uh, and number three is to be, be persistent. And there's a couple of different ways that I like to do this. Uh, number one, obviously you're gonna send them a DM, but a lot of times these bigger pages also have a link to their email. <clears throat> so uh, let me just do this, uh, DM email. 
Um, so find that email and basically just copy and paste the same template that I just showed you. Uh, you know, obviously change it up a bit if you need to. Um, but send them a DM and send them an email so you got them on both sides because a lot of times they just check the email. Sometimes they even have a Kick account. So hit them up on Kick. Uh, you know, so there you got like three different points of contact. And a lot of times, if I don't hear back within the first like four or five days, then I'll, um, you know, just keep sending messages. Um, and a lot of times it works because, you know, they might not see it on the first time. It might get caught in, you know, all kinds of other messages that go out. But I've sent a message or started sending a message on September 5th and kept doing it like every, every week or so. And I just heard back like four days ago in November. So it's a horrible response rate, but I finally heard back from them. I ran some posts and I made like a ton of money, like $400 off of every post that I do with them. So it's definitely worth, uh, you know, doing it. So yeah, basically, you know, make sure your message is on point, uh, you know, make sure your Instagram page is on point that you have some social proof and everything and just be persistent. Just keep sending the messages. And if you don't hear back, just keep sending them. A lot of times you'll hear back within the first two days, but uh, if you don't, you know, just keep sending them the message and, and you'll be good. And sometimes they don't respond at all and that's fine. Um, but you just gotta be persistent and you know, keep finding more people and all that stuff. So hopefully these tips were helpful for you guys. If they were, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like, let me know that you like the content, want me to keep producing it on a daily basis. And it's free for you guys, so why would you not wanna like it? Lastly, uh, if you have any questions or comments or you know, anything that you wanna learn, Specifically, go ahead and leave me a comment below. Uh, you know, I read all the comments. I want to make videos on whatever you guys are struggling with because I'm trying to genuinely help everybody out here. Um, and if you have something more specific that you want to ask me, go ahead and hit me up on the DM at Nash Hagen um, on Instagram, and I usually respond pretty quickly, like within a few hours. Um, so I'll get back to you and, and want to help you out. Lastly, if you want to jump on one of my free consulting calls, it's a 10 minute call. I've already been on a call with a few people. They've loved it. They found a lot of value. You can go ahead and check out the link below and you can schedule a 10 minute call with me. Um, and yeah, so hopefully this is helpful for you guys and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I need you in the morning. Oh, oh, yeah, I need you in the midnight. Oh.